So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this lab first of all start the lab and open the console and cognito window now here from the search box you have to just type sql and select the first one now here we have to create an instance how will create the instance do not worry first thing is that you have to just click on create instance and then we'll move forward to the lab instruction for the proper configuration so just click on create instance now from here you can see we have to select this mysql so just select it like this now here we have to select enterprise version and they have mentioned that preset will be development so from here you can see all these things are available over here the sql version is default by the name and for the instance id name you can see here the name is my instance so you have to just copy the name carefully okay just copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space so full stop password click on generate and we may be required okay so here first thing is that we will update the development mode and the password is required so just copy it and paste on in your notepad now come over here and here it is mentioned multiple zone so just select multiple zone and just check the zone carefully now all things are done just click on create now here this creation may take five to six seconds so sorry five to six minutes you need to wait for it for task number one you'll get the score instantly we have to perform task number two also so for that activate the cloud shell click on authorize now just wait for this instance to get created currently it is an updating stage want to view the instance you can just click on all instance and view it also like this okay it's still updating so wait for it so basically it will take five to seven minutes so you need to wait for it until you see the green check mark if you try to run this command you'll get some kind of error because the instance is not properly configured so just wait for some more time now here once you see like this then basically you have to just run the sql command okay now here one more important thing is that when you paste the password it won't be shown over there so you have to just paste the password carefully and hit enter let me show you how you have to do Now here it is asking for password we have copied the password earlier so you have to use that thing only okay just copy it carefully just paste it it won't be shown over here and then hit enter now once you see like this that means you are correct now just create the database check the score and run this one also so this is how we have completed the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel guys